not a happy chappy, he's starting to inflate the neck. So they do that when they, when they get annoyed. Let's see if we can get into. You see that he's starting to inflate the neck? Sure, sure. They puff it up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they just do that to make themselves look okay. bigger than they are. Just quickly with the other. Oh, shit, yeah. Maybe he can start to puff himself up. There we go. <laughs> Smile. But is it pretty rare to get a, a bite by one of these guys? Yeah. Like, if you if you handle that snake now, now he's, he's not in a happy mood, um, then you're risking a bite. But normally a lot of people handle these snakes. Pre-handle. Pre them, yeah. yeah. It's just not worth it, though, no. you know? I mean, you see all those guys on YouTube, but it's like, what's the point, right? You yeah. know? Yeah. Sure, maybe, maybe it's one in a thousand, but one in a thousand... <laughs> Now are they long are they long strikers like gaboons or puff outers or no not really? Um, they would probably strike half their body length. What they normally do is they puff themselves up like this, and then they might just bring the puffed up body into an S shape like this, and then they and strike. okay okay yeah so they can e easily use half their body length to strike. But yeah, as I said, you know it's not normally. Do you know, I mean, how many bites a year actually require anti-venom for, for boom slang? I would reckon that if you've gone to a hospital with a boom slang bite, the chances that you need anti-venom will probably be in the region of 80%. Sure. A small percentage you can probably get by with blood transfusion that you don't need anti-venom. Really? Yeah, yeah. The snake didn't inject enough venom. Oh, okay. So like a warning bite or something. Yeah, just a little bit of venom, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, if this snake bites you... you it's a serious venom. emergency. It is. It's very potent venom. Um, even the anti-venom in it, they say when they start a fresh horse to start... Making to make the anti-venom, yeah? The horse gets terribly sick from this venom. Really? Yeah, even dangerous. even in microscopic yeah. amounts? Yeah. They must be very careful how they how they start that program. Because they could kill the horse. They can, yeah. yeah that's very, very potent venom. And it doesn't look like much, you know? It's no, crazy. it's very, very nondescript. Now, you've heard, obviously, of the American scientist that got bit and documented his death on the yeah. boom slang. Carl Schmidt. Carl Schmidt, yeah. Carl Schmidt, yeah. And he... Chicago yeah. Museum of Natural History, yes. Yeah. And he's, is he one of the only known deaths of a boom slang? No. No? Oh, no, no. There, so there has been deaths, yeah. Yeah, no, no. There are deaths recorded from them. Um, uh, I think... I think there was at least one fatality I know of last year. And here in South Africa. In South Africa, yeah. 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 How, it, maybe farm workers or what? People working and picking fruit or what? This particular guy, actually, I think now, now, to, now I come to think of it, I think there might have even been two now. Picked up the snake. Now, the, 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 one, the, the, the one guy I know of, um, he was actually a snake catcher. And uh, he was bitten by the snake. He brought the snake into a hospital. He claims he was bitten in the morning. He only arrived there, I think, like 5 o'clock. Why? <laughs> well, he probably didn't think much of it. Did he? But he was a snake was, catcher. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> snake catcher. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of them now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, I don't think it was a large snake. He brought the snake in. And it was immediately identified as a boom slung. It was still a young specimen. And there was nothing they could do for them? It, they didn't have antivenom. They just recently used their antivenom and they hadn't replaced it. And so by the time, if they had made the effort to get the antivenom, it would have been too late in, anyway because I think it died at 1 o'clock that night. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and do you have, do you have antivenom here on property for every single one of your snakes? We keep indigenous snakes. Right, we have antivenom, polyvalent, 
boom slung, and for the soul scale vipers. Should that's a bad one, right? That kills a lot of people. It does, yeah, yeah. And what we don't have antivenom for is the uh, vine snakes, the twig of vine snakes, Thelotornis. Yeah, I, I saw that. They, I've seen, I've seen for sale, like at pet stores. The it looks just like the Asian vine snake, but those are harmless. It's a rear fan. Well, there has been fatalities with this vine snake. Really? Yeah, there's two recorded fatalities. Really? And it, is it a neurotoxin? No, same as a boom slung. It's oh. hematoxic. Oh, 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 really? No. Really? No. So it causes. Um, it attacks uh, clotting elements two and ten. You develop. Uh, DIC and then uh, start bleeding out. And uh, worms on antivenom doesn't work on the line snake. Do use. they even really have it? So it's kind of an obscure antivenom. Oh, there is no antivenom user. Oh, that. I was